Holmes under the hammers Martel Maxwell revealed a fellow skier lost control and plowed into her during a scary moment on the slopes in the Austrian Alps. The 46-year-old, who took over from Lucy Alexander to present the BBC property show, was spooked by reading about actress Gwyneth the same day. Martel told the Courier Evening Telegraph that, fortunately, no one was hurt in her own ski collision, but that made it none less unnerving. She explained, the scariest bit was hurtling with, a fellow skier, towards a sharp drop but, a bruised leg aside, everything was thankfully fine. The man who collided with me came from higher up the slope with the person lower down having the right of way, lost control and plowed into me. She says her own experience, with profuse apologies on both sides, was starkly different from the claims made in court surrounding the skiing accident involving Gwyneth Paltrow. Terry Sanderson, 76, is suing the actress for more than $300,000 over a ski accident that took place at the exclusive Deer Park Resort, Utah in 2016. However, Gwyneth is counter-suing for $1 plus her legal fees, and says the funds she receives back will be donated to charity. Both parties agree that there was a collision, but blame each other. Terry Sanderson says she collided with him, leaving him with concussion and a lasting brain injury, and that she left the scene of the accident after yelling at him and leaving him lying on the ground injured. Don't miss! Gwyneth Paltrow's Ski Town Tragedy with Dad Years Before 2016 Incident, exclusive, Philip Schofield seen for first time since brother's trial began, update, Paul O'Grady's tearful words prior to his death amid health struggles, latest, on the other hand, Gwyneth says he knocked into her from behind, forcing her legs apart before they fell to the ground. In her previous testimony, she said that her initial thought during the collision was that it felt like she was being sexually assaulted before she became fully aware of what had happened. Mr. Sanderson said he had become a self-imposed recluse after the incident and had been advised never to ski again in case of further injury. Ms. Paltrow previously said she felt very sorry for Mr. Sanderson but reiterated that she was not at fault for the crash. The trial in Park City, Utah, continues.